It's evangelism aimed at an audience that preachers may not be reaching. We have to win this young hip-hop generation for Jesus Christ, and what we use is hip-hop music. Our music needs to change. Somebody doesn't want to be a player. Somebody don't want to be a thug. Somebody wants to live right. See ya! Help us reach a lost generation before it's too late. Man that can control his tongue can control his whole body. Because what we're understanding as men is that manhood is not defined by machoism. No, go and clap that little bro clap. <laughs> Football doesn't define manhood. <laughs> nope. I mean, the babies you had out of wedlock doesn't define manhood. You're not a man because you can make a baby. Test tubes can make babies now and take your place. You're not a man because you can make a baby. What's between your legs does not define you as a man. Nah, brother, don't sit up there looking at me. You know, you, now you think you gotta be a thug to be a man. Thug, thugism doesn't define you as a man. I'm gonna be a rap singer, now I'm a man. Yeah. Oh, you fuck up. Never try to crash the blast of the bubble. Yes, not going to Jesus told us the definition of manhood. Paul said, when I was a child, I thought as a child, I spoke as a child, I act like a child. But when I put away childish things and I picked up the love of God, I became a man. You are not a man outside of that circle. You are not a man outside of the love of God. If you don't know how to operate the love of God and the fruit of the Spirit, if you don't know how to forgive, if you don't know how to get rid of the bitterness, if you don't know how to forgive your daddy because he left you when you were two and didn't raise you, you got to let that stuff go. That stuff is weighing you down. So your daddy wasn't there. But now you got a father and a friend that stick as closer than any brother. And if you'll abide in the love of God, he'll give you what your daddy could never give you. What's the matter with us? Keep going around with one crutch after another. Well, the reason why I'm on drugs right now is because I had such a hard time growing up. <laughs> like you're the only one. Mess happens. But it's designed to seduce you out of the platform for your power. Some things you're just gonna have to just say, you know what, can't do nothing about that. And as long as I keep looking behind, I'm gonna stay behind. I gotta get a new focus now. I gotta, I gotta start looking ahead. I gotta start looking ahead. Because the enemy is trying to replay my past. And every time I wanna go forward, he tries to replay my past. Well, what do I do when he keeps replaying my past? I'll tell you what to do. You pre-play your future. You let that rascal know that I'm not the same. I'm not what I used to be. I'm on my way to another place. I'm getting ready to be successful in every arena of my life. And even though you don't believe it, and even though y'all never supported me, I got to go on and see what the end gonna be. Be, be, be. This is Cheryl. I'm in Denver, and God has just blessed you. Thank you so much. This is Jessica. Oh, my goodness, you blessed me with that broadcast. You don't know how you blessed me. And this is something you can battle the world with, man. I showed this one of the pastors. They love this. My name is Bruce. I just want to say thank you, sir. I really love this sermon song. I have all you want to know, Pastor Jones, and Crumble, and all them. Basically, man, I just want to tell you that this has been a blessing in my life. I know sermon songs and life radio and all that stuff is bumping, and you getting your pub. But, man, it was a watch you come out here to the West Coast, for real.